Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Tech65 uh, and this is the Samsung Omnia 2. Uh, now somebody actually asked if it is actually possible for you to get rid of um, to not use the TouchWiz user interface found on the Samsung Omnia 2 which is a Windows Mobile 6.1 phone by the way. The answer is yes, you can. Now uh, all you let me just show you the Samsung UI first. Alright, so just press and hold a little lock to unlock it. And uh, basically this is the Samsung UI. Um, you know, you can have widgets and stuff like that. Uh, you know, right here you have a shortcuts widget at the bottom right here. Uh, wallpaper changing, you can turn off and you can, you know, I, this is, I actually like this particular widget. It lets you turn on and off, uh, you know, the phone, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and allows you to, uh, really quickly and easily. <clears throat> And then, of course, uh, just like what HTC did with with um, their um, TouchFlow 3D, the newer version, when you click on the Start menu, instead of the usual Start menu, you get this really big buttons of all the menu items, and then after that, you know, you can actually customize this particular menu and, and have access to your applications just like you would on a good old mobile phone, which I really like. Of course, there's also the touch switcher and stuff like that. But if for some strange reason you don't like this, there's actually a way to get rid of it. Um, so to answer that question, here's how you do it. Now you go to the um, the start menu, or rather the touch with UI's menu, go to settings. Alright, so now you're in general settings. Um, go to uh, the basic settings, go to general settings, and scroll it all the way to the bottom. Right here at the bottom there's something called Samsung touch with UI. Click on that. Alright, and then it says enable Samsung TouchWiz UI. Now just push the little green button and it turns off and then click on um, click on done. Now what this actually does is that um, it, it gets rid of a few items. Uh, for example, <clears throat> you know some of the, the little big buttons. I'm not sure if this one is still this one is still enabled. Now uh, you have to turn these things off one by one, right? So this is actually another setting that you can find somewhere inside the the jet the basic settings. But what happens right now is that after I turn off touch with UI, when I click on the start menu, this is the good old ugly, you know, completely impractical. I'm biased, I know. Completely impractical, ugly, and uh, really difficult to use. Tiny. Windows Mobile Start menu, all right. Um, so the, the touch with UI, the widget screen is still here, uh, but the Start menu has replaced back, to, reverted back to the good old one, the old Windows Mobile one. And uh, if you actually want to get rid of the the widget screen as well, um, which I really don't know why you want to do that, but if you really want to do that, now go to the settings. Now you should notice there's actually two settings. The one with the little blue little icon. This is the Samsung touch with UI setting screen. You're going to go back to the traditional Windows Mobile setting screen which is this little tiny thing here. Let me just uh, push that. Alright, and so you're in settings and go to today. Alright, you'll find it in most uh, Windows Mobile phones. And then you go to uh, under uh, items, the items tab. Okay, you must understand I'm having a little bit of difficulty doing this because of the camera that's right in front here. Okay, now you notice everything is unchecked except the Samsung Widget Plus. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this one and maybe, you know, I'm going to turn on the dates, uh, maybe the calendar, the tasks. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good enough for me. I'm going to click on OK. Alright, close that. And I'm going to go to the home screen and there you go. The ugly ass Windows Mobile Today screen, no touch with UI on the touch, the Samsung Omnia 2. Once again, I don't know why you want to do that, but you asked the question and I answered. Alright, this is the Samsung Omnia 2, how to get rid of the touch with UI completely, I don't know why you want to do that. I love, the, I mean, you know, compared to this, I love the touch with UI. Alright, of course, you know, I'm still a TouchFlow 3D fan, but that's just me. Alright, so I'm Daniel. If you have any more questions, no matter how crazy they are, you know, at least in my opinion, don't worry, just send them in. Daniel at tech65.org. If I can, I'll make a video. If not, I will answer to you straight away. Alright, thank you very much. See you guys soon. Oh yes, I kind of forgot. Um, for those of you who are actually crazy enough to follow those instructions, if you happen to own a Samsung Omnia 2 and you're kind of stuck with that uh, Windows Mobile user interface and you want to go back to that touch with user interface, here's how you do it. It's actually very simple. Just reverse the steps which I told you. I, I know it's you know it's it's duh, but you know sometimes people ask and you know. 
for their sake, you know, just to tell you. All right, so let's go back inside again. Now, the thing about this is that you have to, you know, enable the, you know, if you want to get rid of the TouchWiz UI, you have to follow a, the sequence that I showed you earlier. So, if you want to re-enable TouchWiz UI, you have to follow the sequence that I'm about to tell you right now, or else you might not be able to assess one particular button or something like that that allows you to do it. All right, so the first step you have to do is you have to get rid of the to -do today screen and go back to the TouchWiz UI's widget screen, all right? So you go to start once again, the Windows Mobile Settings screen, which is this one right here. Okay, the Today screen. Uh, go to Items, uncheck everything else. Um, I'm not sure if uh, if if it matters whether you uncheck it or not. Uh, when I played with the uh, the HTC's um, TouchFlow 3D, I re re I remember that if you actually uncheck all these stuff, I mean, if you even if you leave all these things checked and you enable the you know the HTC TouchFlow or in this case a Samsung Samsung Widget Plus, um, it doesn't matter because the, the the Widget Plus will just it's just gonna slap right on top of everything else. You're not gonna be able to see the rest anyway, all right? But just in case, just uncheck everything and re-enable Samsung Widget Plus. Right, click on OK, right up here, and uh, that's it. So just wait for a while, right, for the Widget Plus to re-enable itself. Okay, and there you go. Your Widget Plus is back, and so are your widgets. Next thing you want to get rid of this one, this little ugly Start menu. Okay, now go to the Settings screen, the Touch Wiz Settings screen. Okay, uh, if you know this particular screen, it's also available on in the. Um, it's also available in the the the, the normal um, Windows Mobile screen. So go to the settings if you want. Go to s System. Okay. Now if you scroll. There's actually something called the TouchWiz UI. Click on that. And uh, before that, let me just show you some of the other things that's actually available on the TouchWiz uh, uh, TouchWiz UI phone. Um, I remember seeing something like that. So you have the Samsung TouchWiz UI and the large indicator right here. This one. So this one is when you click on this, this you know gets big. So if you want to get rid of that. And once again, I have no idea why. You can do that from here as well. Okay. Now, touch with UI, and click on the little ball right here. To let it turn green. Click on done. All right. Let's close all that. And finally, click on that. And thank God, start menu is gone, and you are now back in the touch with UI program launcher which is customizable by the way really big icons you can click on edit you know I have some time so might as well give you a little tour of what it actually does uh, you can actually move I believe you can, yeah you can move the icons around right uh, you can actually uh, you see as you can see you can actually name them I believe yeah you can name them you can name all these little panels that you have I, I wish the iPhone let me do that honestly alright uh, and uh, okay, I'll click on edit again Okay, so you can see you can actually have a lot, a lot of panels. Let me just count how many. You can have up to ten panels all together. All right, ten panels, and then you can move things around and get rid of them. Uh, if you click on others right here, uh, this is I'm out of the edit screen. This is the normal menu already. When you click on others, right, you can actually have all the other applications which you have not left their icons in that menu. Okay, and as well as the, the, the task manager. So the task manager, uh, you have a task switcher as well. The TouchWiz UI is task switcher. Right, which is basically allows you to, if you have actually a lot of applications, you can switch between them, just like you would on the Palm Pre, and uh, you can end all the applications from here as well. So that is actually pretty cool. All right, so that is the Samsung Touch. Oops, yeah, this is the Samsung Touch with user interface. How to enable them as well as to disable it for some strange reason. You want to do that. All right, so once again. Visit tech65.org for all our other videos as well. Uh, Gear 65 episode for this particular phone will be coming up pretty soon, as soon as I find the time to film it with DK. And if you have any questions before that happens, my email address daniel at tech65.org. All right. Don't ask me any questions regarding availability, price, and stuff like that. I don't have that information. We're located in Singapore as well, so if you're anywhere outside of Singapore, it's going to be even harder for us. So we'll never be able to find that information. Uh, we'll know as much as you do. All right. Now, if uh, so, you know, other than that, you can ask us any questions regarding the phone, technical questions you want to ask, or the features and stuff like that. Just uh, send us your questions. All right. So that's it. I'm Daniel. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.